My dad and I traveled from Fairbanks to Seward and back to Fairbanks. Now, in the fifth and final episode of the Alaska Road Trip vlog, we're exploring the North Pole. Yeah, you heard that right. I'm Nicole, and this is Nicole Goes Exploring. If you saw my last video, you know that we stayed up really late for an Aurora viewing tour. So we got a late start to our final full day in Alaska, but we started it off with lunch at Oasis Restaurant and Lounge, and it was delicious food. I would highly recommend going here. North Pole, Alaska is about a 20 minute drive from Fairbanks. There were cute decorations throughout the town, and of course we went down Santa Claus Lane and some other adorably named streets. Today we're in North Pole, Alaska, and we're going to the Santa Claus house. As you can see, this place is packed full of Christmas souvenirs and gifts. You can get all of your Christmas shopping done in one place. You even have the opportunity to meet Santa as long as he's working that day. But the true highlight for us was the people that we met here. They were some of the nicest people and they gave us some great tips for viewing other parts of the town. Next to the Santa Claus house is the Antler Academy where you can meet some of Santa's reindeer. It's not open year round, so make sure that you check the schedule. One of the places we were told to visit was called the Naughty Shop. It has some neat wood art, local gifts, and ice cream. The other thing we were told to do was go do the trail at Moose Creek Bluff or Painted Rock. It's a fairly short trail with some incline, but it offers beautiful views of the Alaskan range on a clear day. We didn't have a clear day, but it was still beautiful. We scouted out a place to check out the Aurora that night and then we went back to our cabin to pack. But that night we drove around a lot trying to catch the Aurora since it was active, but it was still too foggy. If you get a rental car and you see one of these sticking out of it, don't be alarmed. The rental agency said that it gets so cold here that the oil can freeze and so they use those to warm it up. And we have seen other cars with it too. Fun facts. We spent part of the morning enjoying some of the nature that Fairbanks had to offer. If you're looking for a place with fantastic service, delicious food, and some outrageous desserts, the cookie jar is the place for you. It checked off all of our boxes. I would love to go back, and I'd suggest other people to check it out. The rest of the day, we took it pretty easy. We knew that we had a really long flight ahead of us. Alaska was such an amazing experience, and I'm really glad that we got to go. Thanks for joining us and watching the Alaska Road Trip Vlogs. I hope that you found some useful information and some travel inspiration.